Hey everyone, Mr. Westek here. Um, I've been hearing a lot that the chainsaw is better, and uh, I've been hearing that the auto axe is better. Mostly that the chainsaw is better. So I kind of just wanted to do a quick little test here showing which one I think is better overall after testing. Because, you know, I don't believe what I hear. It's best to just go test it. Um, yeah, thank you for smashing the 100 goal like on the last video, everybody. So I figured we'll go for 200 on this one. I think we got like 300 something likes, 400 something likes. You guys are killing it. Thank you very much for that. Um, so I just wanted to show that I used a base auto axe and a base chainsaw with all the fixings. Like I put the best mod on, which I think is the electrified mod on the auto axe, and the flamer mod with the dual bar on the chainsaw, which we're about to see here. Also want to point out too that I took off adrenaline, so that's not going to really affect it because I did kill some Meyer Alerts wandering in to kill the Meyer Alert Queen, which, you know, is what we're testing it on. Spoiler. <laughs> so there's the two weapons modded up all the way. I also used a power armor, so uh, my uh, bloody build wouldn't affect anything, right? Because I do have unyielding on, so I want it to be in the power armor so it negates that so we can get an even closer reading. I'm going to show two videos here of the same thing, just so you can get it in your head on how quick it kills it. Now this is with no mods, like it just shows how powerful this thing is, it's hilarious, no adrenaline. Here it is again, and then we're going to go to the chainsaw. So like that's a Meyer Alert Queen man, without anything, like no anti-armor, no nothing. Now here's the chainsaw. I, if I had to give it like, like the tiniest little edge, I would give it that the chainsaw is a little bit more powerful. Also the fact that you can trade the chainsaw kind of makes it the winner here, I think. Like you can, you know, if you get a really good chainsaw, man, they're going for crazy stuff. I've even seen them go for legacies on Reddit. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, so if you go back and check those, I've watched them like a hundred times at this point. It just seems like the chainsaw does like the tiniest bit more damage. Um, they're not hard to find. Maybe we could do a video on where to find the chainsaws and all the mods and all that. Maybe I'll eventually do that. The auto axe you just get off the score. I think it's like 13 or 17 or something like that on the score. It's before 20. And uh, yeah, once you unlock it on the score, then you can make it. Um, you'll have to get the stamps uh, from doing expeditions to get the mods on it. Again, I highly recommend the electric mod, but uh, yeah, overall conclusion here, everybody, is that the chainsaw does a little bit more damage. It, it definitely does a little bit more. If you really had to like make um, a point or an exact argument of which one is better, the chainsaw is, especially with the fact that you can trade it as just puts it a little bit ahead of the auto axe. Um, but yeah, if you were deciding which one to roll, Definitely the chainsaw. Definitely the chainsaw. I um, just want to say thank you so much, everybody, you know, for checking out the videos lately. The channel's doing awesome. Um, I can't say thank you enough, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, thanks for checking it out, and take care.